guys, Kim here with Art Classes for Kids. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what the upcoming projects, the upcoming videos actually, are going to be. So, we have been bringing you video uh, lessons for six weeks now. And I started doing them Monday through Friday, but now I'm doing them only Monday, Wednesday, Friday because I'm super busy getting a big summer project together that I'm gonna share with you guys. I'll tell you more about that next time I do a sneak peek. But um, I want to thank you so much for sending in all your photos. And if you've never sent in a photo before of your finished artwork, but you'd love to, then you can post it on Instagram and tag it with Art Classes for Kids. Or you can send it to me directly to my email, which is kim at artclassesforkids.com. And uh, I bet you guys are wondering what we're going to do next week. So let me tell you, on Monday, we are going to be doing a painting on paper. Let me show you what it's gonna look like. It's going to look a little something like this. This is inspired by the French uh, commercial artist whose name is Tarotier Maxime. Here is an image of one of his works of art. It's actually an ad for Nike. And I love the style of this looking like there's just like light, you know, little light beams or little light bubbles all over it. So we're gonna make something like that and all you're going to need are a piece of black paper. It can be this eight and a half by 11 size or it can be a 12 by 12, whatever black construction paper or cardstock you have. So you'll need that. You're also going to need some acrylic paints. You will need uh, a couple of different size paint brushes because we're using the ends of them to make those dots and we need different size dots. You also need a pencil. You're going to need a paper plate to use as a palette and some paper towels to wipe with. And lastly, you're going to need a magazine. So you might want to look ahead of time because you're going to go through a magazine and pick out a picture. Like I picked out this picture out of a sports magazine and that's how I transferred the silhouette to get this. So you can do a sports magazine or you can do a fashion magazine, like I have this fashion magazine and do a fashion pose, but you'll need an image with a that will turn into a silhouette of a person. So grab a magazine with some good pictures of people in it uh, and all these supplies. Once again, it's acrylic paints, black paper, magazines, paintbrushes, a pencil, a palette, paper plate palette, and some paper towels. And that's for Monday for this really cool project. Okay, and it's simple and it comes out really cool. So you definitely want to join us on Monday. Then if you can join us again on Wednesday, Wednesday's project looks like this. And it's a chalk pastel drawing. It's inspired by the artist. He's an American contemporary artist named Brad Durham. Here's an image of his one of his paintings, but we're gonna do it in chalk, and it's uh, you know basically uh, some branches where a bird's landing in a tree, and there's some little dragonflies. So if you would like to make this, you will need a piece of colored cardstock. It can be any color, cardstock or construction paper. Um, you can have any color. I've got different colors of this. This is eight and a half by 11, or you can do it on a square, which if you do scrapbooking, you might have some of these 12 inch by 12 inch colored square papers. So you're gonna need a colored piece of paper and you're going to need a black, a white, and a brown chalk pastel. So paper, three pastels, and you're set. That's all you're gonna need. So, um, Gather that up and join us for this drawing project. And then Friday. Hopefully you visited us on Friday. If not on Fridays, we do something called Found Object Friday. And that's where I pick some objects from around the house and I either set it up in a still life or I go looking around the house for them and I teach you um, how to draw and paint a little better while um, using objects around the house. So, and I usually connect it to a famous artist as inspiration. So we're gonna be making something like this. So we'll be finding some everyday objects like a squirt bottle, uh, scissors, a bucket, a little case, could be anything. This is inspired by the British artist, 
Here we go, here's my example, named Michael Craig Martin. And this is what his art looks like, you can see that. So the line drawings, and then only a few objects are colored in, in this style of his art. He's known for these line drawings. He also has made these line drawings into standing up sculptures. Or sometimes he colors the whole thing in. And sometimes he colors things, the colors they aren't usually found in, in you know, naturally. So what you're going to need for this project, it's a painting. We're actually gonna be drawing with paint. You'll have an option of either drawing it with a Sharpie or painting the black lines with a paintbrush. So we're going to need the usual stuff to paint with. We're going to need acrylic paints. We're going to need some paper towels. We're gonna to need a few different sized brushes. Definitely a really skinny brush and a medium sized brush. You're gonna need a pencil and a Sharpie, a paper plate for a palette or whatever you use around your house for a palette. And then for the canvas, you can either use a canvas panel, which is the thin version of a canvas, or the thicker version where the canvas is stapled around wood. So grab yourself a canvas, if you can get one. If not, you can always paint on poster board or, or something. And uh, that's our Friday project. So I wanna thank you for joining us all the weeks you have, and I hope you keep watching because I've got so many more projects to share with you. Um, and you know, make sure that you like and subscribe and click that notifications button because then we send you a little reminder that we've got a new video out. So I hope to see you next week so we can make some cool art.